Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I want to thank you, Secretary Mattis, General Dunford, members of the Cabinet, members of the Armed Forces, first responders, and most importantly, to the families and to the survivors. It's an honor to join you on this very, very solemn location. This is an occasion that is extraordinary, and it'll always be extraordinary. Before we begin, I'd like to send our nation's prayers to everyone in the path of Hurricanes Irma and to everyone suffering through the devastation of Hurricane Harvey. These are storms of catastrophic severity, and we're marshalling the full resources of the federal government to help our fellow Americans in Florida, Alabama, Georgia, Texas, Louisiana, Tennessee, and all of those wonderful places and states in harm's way. When Americans are in need, Americans pull together, and we are one country. And when we face hardship, we emerge closer, stronger, and more determined than ever. We're gathered here today to remember a morning that started very much like this one. Parents dropped off their children at school. Travelers stood in line at airports and getting ready to board flights. Here at the Pentagon and at offices all across the country, people began their early meetings. Then our whole world changed. America was under attack, first at the World Trade Center, then here at the Pentagon, and then in Pennsylvania. The horror and anguish of that dark day were seared into our national memory forever. It was the worst attack on our country since Pearl Harbor, and even worse because this was an attack on civilians, innocent men, women, and children whose lives were taken so needlessly. For the families with us on this anniversary, we know that not a single day goes by when you don't think about the loved one stolen from your life. Today, our entire nation grieves with you and with every family of those 2,977 innocent souls who were murdered by terrorists 16 years ago. Each family here today represents a son or daughter, a sister or brother, a mother or father who was taken from you on that terrible, terrible day. But no force on earth can ever take away your memories, diminish your love, or break your will to endure and carry on and go forward. Though we can never erase your pain or bring back those you lost, we can honor their sacrifice by pledging our resolve to do whatever we must to keep our people safe. On that day, not only did the world change, but we all changed. Our eyes were opened to the depths of the evil we face. But in that hour of darkness, we also came together with renewed purpose. Our differences never looked so small. Our common bonds never felt so strong. The sacrifice grounds on which we stand today are a monument to our national unity and to our strength. For more than seven decades, the Pentagon has stood as a global symbol of American might, not only because of the great power contained within these halls, but because of the incredible character of the people who fill them. They secure our freedom. They defend our flag, and they support our courageous troops all around the world. Among the 184 brave Americans who perished on these grounds were young